Hello students. So the question is, a teacher wants his or her students to find the genotype of pea plants that is going to bear the purple colored flowers in their school garden. Name and explain the cross that will make it possible. So here what is being asked is a genotype is in the question. So genotype of what? Genotype of the purple colored flower. Okay, that is how it is asked. So we have to understand that uh, the pea plant again we are talking about uh, the pea plant and when we talk about the pea plant we have to understand that they are uh, for the flower color there is the purple color and there is the white color so purple is the dominant trait while the white is the recessive trait so once you know this what you have to understand is the purple or also you know which is also called the violet so the g uh, the allele that we can use is going to be let's say for the purple or violet is going to be capital v and uh, for uh, the recessive is going to be small v so uh, the process that is going to be useful here is going to be the test cross remember test cross is the process or is the cross that enables us to find out the genotype of unknown plant see if the case of a recessive if the flowers are recessive then we could have easily said right uh, that uh, they were having the small v small v genotype homozygous recessive condition but when we're going to have this purple color or the violet color flower here the genotype could be two that is it can be homozygous dominant capital V capital B or it can be the heterozygous capital V small v so to find out and that is why we're going to use the cross that is called the test cross so let's imagine uh, in the first scenario that uh, it is going to be a, you know uh, dominant that is your uh, homozygous dominant condition so uh, let's say one case let's assume is homozygous dominant so for this what we have to do is in test cross what we do we cross the plant of unknown genotype with the plant having the homozygous recessive genotype so here uh, the parents right parents are going to be the violet color uh, plants that is what we are thinking that is capital V capital V cross with small v small v that is here we are going to have the purple or violet flower and here we are going to have the white flower okay and uh, so the gametes here that is going to be capital V only one type and here it is going to be small v only one type now the progeny in this case is going to be the capital v small v and it is going to be only of one type so here what is happening is all flowers are purple color okay all flowers are having the purple color so when we do a cross of the unknown genotype plant right this is our unknown genotype that we are guessing with that of the homozygous recessive and the progeny comes out to be all purple flower then the plant is going to be having a homozygous dominant condition but as i said but as i said there is a second option also second chance also and that can be heterozygous right so when we talk about heterozygous again let's talk about the parent here so here the parents are going to be the capital v small v heterozygous this is what we are guessing and uh, cross with the small v small v so here also it is going to be the purple flower and we are going to cross that with the white flower and uh, the gametes here are going to be capital V and small v 
and here it is going to be only of one type it is small v so the progeny right progeny here what we will get we will get uh, from here and here capital v small v then this can go with this so small v small v that is we are getting a uh, 50 percent of the flower that are purple purple flower and the remaining 50 percent white flower right or we can say one is to one ratio so here it is 50 percent and 50 percent or we can say one is to one so when we are getting this particular outcome right when the uh, f1 outcome is going to be both purple and white flower in that case we can conclude that the purple flower purple color flowers in the school garden was indeed heterozygous in nature and if we get all purple flower in the f1 progeny then we can conclude that to be a homozygous dominant that is capital b capital b so we have to perform the test cross in this case and the students you have to write all of these to explain the entire process